Okay, everyone, I'm going to show you a couple of more simple extrusions. All these drawings is simple extrusions, which will just go one direction. So I'm going to go look for the drawing in my drawing database and see where is my drawing. Let's look at the first one. There we have it. I've drawn up this one, not that one, because if I've drawn up that one, I would have had extruded the, these distances to the side and it would be a little bit more uh, difficult, but not really. You know, you, you could draw this one, but this one is less line work. So if you've drawn this one, you'd extrude this one in an L shape uh, based on that thickness there. And then you would go and extrude that wall based on that 16 thickness. So you only have two thicknesses. This L shape, which is, you can see, it touches that uh, arch there, which is part of this whole height there, and that's the width. So the width there is the diameter, the, the, the diameter of 38, which is a radius of 19. Now looking at that height there, going straight across, we find out that the only part that matches that height is this, the width is 16. So there's two extrusion distances. If I go from this side, I would be having two extrusion distances as well, which will be that geometry there, which will have go across, which is 25. And then that geometry there, if we go straight across and it goes out up till there, which is 86. But because you're extruding from this point, from a flat drawing, if you've drawn a flat drawing and you've extruded from this point and you filled up and you got that geometry, you need to extrude this one straight from the back that way. So it's going to be 16 plus 70 plus 25. Let's go look at it quickly. I'm going to say E for extrude. Um, let me first trim here. Trim these a couple of quick extrusions. Uh, e for extrude. We've got a thickness here, like we discussed, of 25 millimeters. So I'm going to type in 25 there. Right? We are happy with that. Okay. And let's go share the sketch. Share sketch. If we extrude again, and I'm clicking on there. And let's go back and we can see that that's the shape that we've clicked on and that shape extends all the way right to the back so it's 25 plus 70 it's 95 it's 105 100 111 okay and that's what we have all the other features you would just go click on sketch and sketch on the side Whatever you need to do, you can just go extrude it out. Click on rectangle and then draw. Dimension it to the center. Let's say from there to there. You put in a dimension. Let's say that's 9. It's not the actual dimension. And from there to there, let's say that's 15. Not actual dimension. And that's not actual size. This is just to be able to give you an illustration. Right? And then you cut in that direction. Now you need some holes here. As shown by your drawing there's the holes one and two going through it the diameter of these holes is 13 and there's your part there you would now go and sketch on this plane there you go click on sketch again 2d and again on there and then you go draw your holes hole number one and uh, hole number two not actual holes this is just for illustration purposes and then you will dimension them on there and then you will cut and that will be your holes okay next one let's look at this one here and let's locate the drawing on these here and see where is this drawing there's the drawing I can see here I have drawn this shape if I've drawn that one not even double extrude would have worked because we've got these V shapes coming out on the side we would have gone, gone and trim and sketch on the top as well once more to get it right. But by drawing this shape, I know I've got this whole wing there and that wing that needs to go up to the same height. We go straight across the, the wing. It, it, it's a total shape and we can see the thickness is 12 millimeters. That round shape there, it's 25 and uh, it's, it's 50 diameter and 26 
diameter on the inside. If I go straight across, the thickness there is 32. And then we have a rib sitting there. Okay, of 12 millimeter wide. So let's go and extrude and say E for extrude. There's my rib. Uh, sorry, my, my, my part there. And I'm taking it up. And the thickness that we looked at there is 12. And then the other one is 32. 12. Uh, okay. And I'm going to left click on the plus sign. Right click on sketch. And share the sketch. If we extrude again. And I'm going to go up by what we've said is 32. These are more simple single way extrusions. 32. Okay. And then we need to go for the rib, E for extrude. And I'm going to click on the shape of that rib there. And there it goes. It's still on 32. Let's say, for instance, it wasn't on 32 and you don't need, want to measure. Ne? Okay. Then what you need to do is you can go click on this there. 2. Extrude 2. You click on 2 and it, you choose a distance where it needs to stop. And it will stop exactly at that point. Okay. And then what you will do, you'll go and click on sketch. And you click on the side. And then you will cut your, your rib through there. Okay. You'll click, draw on there. Up till there. If we extrude. It wants me to complete the triangle there. So I'll go back to that sketch and double click. And just complete a triangle, triangular shape. Uh, um, uh, doesn't matter as as long as it's larger than that section there, it will still work. Right, and we will cut in that direction. Say okay, okay. That's what we have, and that's simple extrusions and sketching on the on the side. The very same with this part here. Same thing will happen. Let's go look for the drawing quickly. There we go. Okay, this is what we have. If we look at the base here, the base goes down. If we look at the top view, that's the top view, that's the front, that's the left. The base goes down for a total distance. What's the width there? The width in the top is the width in the left, which is 96. So that whole base will be extruded by 96 forward. This part that goes up and come down the, the shape there, will be extruded if we, if we go downwards. Look at that width there. If we go straight down, that's where it stops, starts. If we go straight down, that's where it starts. So that's the total distance of the extrusion. Sorry, of the thing. Right, so that's the thickness there. The thickness we can't see in the top. But we know if we go straight across, it's sitting right at the back. So in the left hand view, it must sit right at the back because the top from the side, it's the same view. Right? You can see the same distance from the side. That's the back. And that's the back. So it's one, one, one step there. It's, it's that part there. So that's the back as well. One step forward, that's the part. So it goes forward by 14. So that whole part there goes forward by 14. And then we look at this lip type of shape, this uh, semicircular shape that forms a complete circle, circular type of road, uh, uh, movement, not movement, uh, uh, geometry. We can see it's extruded by 28 from the back. So that part will come forward by 28. And then we have these holes. That's a hole going right through. If you go downwards, we can see the hidden detail there, the hole going right through. And then we can see a hole there, uh, which means it will stop uh, right there in front. It just goes through for the for, uh, to, to, uh, through that part, stop right there, and this goes right through to the back because of that's a hole. That whole thing there is a hole going through. And then we have this inclined shape coming out from the back, which is this part here, which is these two holes, one, two. It will be extruded forward by a total distance of 96 and then we will fill, uh, chamfer this or we will sketch on the side so let's start with the base and the base will go forward by 96 if we extrude there's my base 
and I'm typing in 96. The base is done. We went forward by 96. Let's go back to the sketch. That's the base. That whole distance there is the base. If you can't get it in the top, go look on the left. There it's 96. Remember the 45 degree line that you use there? And when it goes over, it touches there, it goes over and touch there, it's the same width. Okay, so we're done with it. Now we're going to look at these, that shape there, this whole shape there, which needs to be extruded by 14. If you go straight across, we can see that height there is 14, which is exactly the same height there. So let's extrude. Go for 14 and we are happy about this the next one needs to be extruded by 28 like we talked we can see the distance from that point outward is 28 so all that lips there in front needs to go out by 28 so let's say if we extrude and choose the shape there needs to go forward by 28 Beautiful. Looks so good. You guys can see that. Okay. Also, uh, I'm having this circle here also needs to come out by 28. If I extrude, and it's the same thing there, and that makes us all very, very happy. Now we need to look at these holes. These holes need to go up till here. I'm going to press E for extrude. And clicking on that hole there. Clicking on the other hole. And I'm not going to worry about the distance. I'm just going to say extrude 2. 2. I want it to stop there. Wonderful. Now I'm going to see now how much do I need to cut in there. Let's use chamfer. Or we can sketch on the side. So let's go look at the drawing. We're having a distance here, 54 minus 96 will give you 42. So that horizontal distance there is 42 and the vertical is 35. So I'm going to go to modify, chamfer, and I'm going to say D1, D2, two phases. We've got, um, let me just check here again, guys. Uh, uh, 54 minus 96 is 42 and 35. Copper's biggest starter, but take care. 45. And then we have, sorry, that's 42. This should be 42 and 35. Right. Now we're going to click on the side there. We're happy with that. Let's do it on the other side. We're happy with that. If you did put it in wrong, guys, you can also... I see it only allows you to do it once, but we will come back. Uh, if, and then you just need to swap these two values, apply. Okay, and then we can click again and say apply. And we are happy with it. And there's our drawing. So you got one, two, and three. That's simple forward extrusions. Where you just read this, draw the shape and read the distances on the side. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.